<clears throat> what up everyone? Alex here. I'm just going to do a little video on my shrimp tank. It's been a while. Um, just been doing a few things around the house. Homework, homework mostly. Math class is a bitch. Alright, here we go. A little update. <clears throat> Not much changed, really. I'm just kind of letting it fill in there, doing its thing. I don't know if those were in there last video. I put a few sticks in there from outside. It's down them on a branch. Um, <clears throat> Java Moss blowing up nice, just the way I thought it would, which is pretty cool because just got a lot of babies in there and they love just, they like to go in there and just hide. I don't know if you can see them or not. Nah, I'll have to get a close up of them later in a different video. There's my Hillstream Loach. Just got him. Bad ankle here, let's not get around here. His name is Steve. Steve the Hillstream. He's usually a lot more active, but he's kind of chilling right now. Alright, this plant's a mystery plant right there. I have it written down what it's called, but right now I can't, cannot say it. Cannot think of how to say it. It's a cool plant. It's grown up towards the light. It was about right there when I bought it, so it's getting nice. Nice and tall. Getting straight. The only problem I have with it is that it's a stem plant, so it doesn't have like a lot of root system. And all I have is like a thin layer of sand. Like if you can see that, there's not that much sand there. I should have bought a little bit more, but that was a little cheap. Only got a couple bags, a couple shrimp down in there. Um, so yeah, what my problem is is like they keep just popping up out of the sand. I just have to keep shoving them back down in there. Uh, a few of them seem to stay nicely, but you know, there's there's always like that one or two that just won't cooperate. This one's actually doing amazing. I I. I wasn't really planning on having a plant in that corner because, like, eventually that java moss will come and take it over. But I just kind of threw it down in there because I had an extra stem, and it's like split and it's like split. That's one plant right there. See, so there's like four stems, five, four or five stems. It's actually coming in my one plant right there, and it's split off and just took, taken off. I don't know why that one's doing so much better than this one, but whatever. It's still cool. I might just might just let it let the java moss go around it. Hopefully it doesn't just like suffocate it. Um, Anubius roots going down into the ground over the rocks, waterfall. Awesome. I was hoping I'd do that. I was pretty confident it would. Um, glass of stigma. I don't know, last video I don't know how much it was spreading but it's starting to spread. It's weird. I expect it to go like more this way into the light but it's actually this one's going off into the shadow, which I'll probably be, oh shit, and turn around and come back, hopefully. It's uh, moving along that rock in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I get a good angle. It's going around the back there, looping around. And this one's starting, and that one's starting, and da 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 da. So. And what, I, what something I didn't plan on is I'm getting a nice, like, little layer of moss on these pieces of shale, which is actually, like, I. Algae is usually a bad thing in a tank, but this it looks pretty cool on the shale. And like the shrimp just eat it, so it doesn't get like out of control or anything. It's just a nice little layer. Like you can see a few little babies macking on that algae. Nom 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 nom. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? These lights were a little expensive. And I wasn't planning on getting two, but one wasn't enough. So I probably should have spent my money on one big light instead of two medium sized lights which was kind of stupid of me but you know it, it just looks cooler with two lights I think <laughs> I don't know <clears throat> filter's doing alright except the only problem is this thing is clear right here it like comes in through there I put a sponge there so it doesn't suck up the little ones it goes up down up and then it comes up on the right there it then goes through that pipe and comes out, which is pretty odd, pretty simple. Um, except this outer part is clear, so the light just goes right into it, and I get like this algae all along here on the inside, so it stops these up. So every like couple weeks, I gotta break that part off and clean it off with like a pipe cleaner, but which isn't, isn't a big deal. But you think they would have thought of that when they were designing it? But I don't know. I guess it looks better clear. So yeah. That's about it on the shrimp tank. Uh, I'm not sure which update this is. Heater doing good. You know, heaters are heaters. Are heaters. Uh, I'm not sure which update this is. This is like 5 or 4. 
five, four, I don't know. It'll be in the title. So yeah, guys, uh, comments, like, subscribe, you know the drill. More, much more videos to come. Sorry it's been a, about a week since I've updated. I've uh, put up a video, but I, I think this is my third one today I'll put up. So, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.